Let's hope for the best, guys. I'm gonna give it a shot at filming. Uh, everything should be set. I did a crap check, so let's just wish luck. The wind picked up a bit, changed direction. Check what you guys saw. I'm going to start uh, taking off from there. It seems like the wind is just coming straight from there, like it's used to now. Uh, plus, the road is a little bit more less sandy, I would say, because the problem with these wheels is that they get stuck in the sand and then it knows over. managed to land it I managed to land it a little bit nose over again because it hits the high sand which makes it stuck uh, I think that one of my main concerns and issues is this big tree that's there which we all know is uh, we all know the famous tree magnet systems uh, I'm gonna go give it a few more shots I haven't even used one battery out of three Alright, so my main issue right now is the fact that I don't have a decent place to take off of with these set of wheels. The reason being is that uh, what is happening right now is that I'm trying to uh, push enough thrust to get the plane up in the air and the wheels having to, for to, 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 to um, fight the effect of the dust and the ground and the sand which isn't strong enough like concrete the friction is too strong for the plane the motor gets overheated I'm pretty sure the ESC is too the beeping that you heard is I'm pretty sure it's not because of the battery that is done with but actually uh, because um, it was drawing too many too much power uh, and the ESC just overpowered itself um, I'm gonna try to find somewhere here close that is, is better off for takeoff and uh, I'll be back very, very shortly. All right, so that's my new runway. Let's hope this films. I'm gonna go connect the battery and start. I'm gonna take off next to you guys and then I'm gonna fly walking over there where the plane is situated approximately and have it come towards me. Um, I think that right off the bat taking um, some knowledge that I've packed from uh, some of the, the videos you guys shared on the forum is the fact that um, 
you should line up the plane in front of you and then line it up with the, ru with the runway. So since it's my first go, or my few first goes, I'd rather line it up directly at me and then worst case worst, move aside and let the, the plane land perfectly. I had a perfect landing previously, I don't know if you guys saw it. So we're gonna go a few more times. This is the first battery. This will probably give me just one last flight, probably beep while it's coming down. And then we'll change to a new battery and practice a bit more. All right, so takeoff is much, much better. It actually seems to be going. Like I said, battery is dead. something probably not a, a circuit and a landing but he'll see something so I'm gonna go quickly change a battery and we'll be back Alright, so that was a false alarm. Uh, I'm gonna go again, I still have some battery. It seems like the stronger the wind, the more throttle I need, the more runway I need, the steadier I need to keep the plane taxied. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna wait a second because it just comes cal calms down every often every so and then so just probably in a minute or so we'll calm down and if it doesn't then I'll just go it already seems to be dying down a bit all right well it seemed like the wheels kept falling off so I fixed the wheel See, I think I'm because I put it in uh, battery, I added a some hot glue to uh, maybe create a little bit of friction I smudged some hot glue on the areas that uh, would fit into the fuselage I'm gonna go again I landed a little bit too far back. Um, 
I need to get used to stay this, here so give this me a time. I'll just check the battery and we'll be back. Um, I think I'm just gonna bring it coming here towards me directly and then just ride it right down straight. So worst case worst, I'll hit the stuff right here. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. You probably didn't see me. I'll just stand here. I'll bring it towards me. Worst case worst, I'll hit there. From here, I'll try to line it up towards the runway. Let's see what happens. harder to take off but I want to stand in one space one spot I think the moving is making me lose it uh, so I'm just gonna try to stand in one spot So I know that one cell would drop, or I would assume one cell would drop faster than the others, and that's what seems to has happened. That one cell just literally dropped faster than the other ones did. Uh, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different, which is get the buzzer in a little deeper, and then try to get the ESC a little bit more in. Uh, because I have slots here for I have slots here for the for a good air airflow for the ESC. Uh, I have some slots here. Besides. Other than that, I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, tiny trainer uh, I'm pretty pleased with the set of wheels I've created and I'm pretty pleased with the durability that, that I've created for this tiny trainer um, that's it I'm gonna go go again I don't know if I'm even filming so I'm just gonna film it make sure good that I did a crap check because I busted a prop that definitely isn't helping me and probably creating a lot of vibrations here. So I'm gonna take off this prop. I need a bit of a wider wider approach. I should be coming from there and then trying to land here, not directly in front of me. I should be coming more of an offside. So I'm gonna try to do that.
I just did is I simply just move, removed, I'm sorry, the, the wheel set and I'm just gonna go hand launch it. I'm gonna still stay close to you guys. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit while I'm flying and stand here where you guys can see me, maybe in the shade a bit. And then that's what we're gonna do. So hand launch number one, here goes. I'm a righty, so I need my right hand. I'm just gonna come in for a landing. 